HT Kids. I'm Hannah and I am on the HT Kids team. Hope you've all had a great week. We have so many exciting things coming up in our video today, including in just a minute a game and our story and our teaching from some of our HT Kids leaders. But first, we need to do our action song. So up on your feet, you two grown ups, and let's do a warm up. Who can run really fast on the spot? Who can do some star jumps? Whew, I think we're warm. Shall we do our action song? Let's go! song guys my name's Ben and I've got a little helper called Isabella and I lead the Rockets group here at HT Kids so now we're going to play a game and what game should we play shall we play Simon Says yay does everybody know how to play Simon Says so basically I have to say Simon Says and then you have to follow what I do. But remember, 
only do it when Simon says, shall we play? Yeah. Simon says, trump like an elephant. Can you trump like an elephant? Simon says, hop, hop, hop. Simon says, touch your toes, touch your toes, touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your nose. Simon says, turn around, turn around, turn around. Touch the ground, touch the ground. Oh no, Simon didn't say touch the ground. Should we try again? Let's turn around. Turn up. Simon didn't say it again. Okay, Simon says, turn around, turn around. Simon says, touch the ground, touch the ground, touch the ground. <laughs> Simon says, big star jumps, big star jumps, big star jumps. Big star jumps. Simon says, fly like a bird. Fly like a bird. Fly like a bird. That's great. Simon says, do a funny walk. Do a funny walk. Do a funny walk. Simon says, hello everybody. Hello everybody. Simon says, Jump like a frog, jump like a frog, jump like a frog. Simon says, lie like a log, lie like a log. Ah! <laughs> now, you might want to get a teddy, because we're going to get ready to sit comfortably to hear our story. Well done, everybody. I hope you're sitting nice and comfortably. We're just about to read our story from the Bible. Does anybody remember the book of the Bible that we're looking at? We're looking at Exodus. And last week, we looked at Moses being put into the basket and being rescued by the king's daughter. Well, let's see what happens next. Years passed by since Moses was in that basket and he grew up. He saw God's special family working as slaves. That made him really sad and angry. The Israelites cried out to God and God listened to them. One day when Moses was looking after his sheep, look after the sheep. He saw something really strange. A bush was on fire, but the leaves weren't burning. He went to have a closer look. Suddenly, a voice boomed out, Moses, here I am. God spoke to Moses. He said, I have heard my people crying and I have seen their tears. I'm going to help them. I have a rescue plan. You must go back to Egypt and tell the king to let my people go. Moses was scared, but God said, I will be with you. So go back to Egypt. And he went. Moses told God's special family, don't be scared, God is going to help you. He has a rescue plan. Over to you, Annabelle. Good morning, everyone. My name is Annabelle and I normally help in the Rockets group. And it's great to be with you this morning to talk about our story and Moses and where we've got up to. I wonder, can you remember what's happened in our story so far? 
something to do with a basket and something to do with a boy called Moses. Did you get it right? God rescued Moses. He was looking after him when he was a baby. Moses' mum put him in a basket to keep him safe. And God looks after you too, even when you're a baby and as you grow up. Our story today is when Moses is a little bit older. He's living in a great big palace and he still wants to help the people around him, even though he's in a really important job. The thing is, Moses does not listen to God. He takes things into his own hands and it goes very wrong. I wonder, have you ever done anything like that? I have. I've tried to help, but I've done it my own way and it's actually ended up making things worse. I wonder this morning, can we play a little game together? Do you know the game hide and seek? Okay, I'm gonna count, can you go and hide? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, let me have a look. Are you behind the curtain? No. Are you under the sofa? Let's have a look. No. I give up. Oh, there you are. Okay, my turn. I'm going to hide this time. Can you count? Ready? Go. I'm so invisible. They're never going to see me. This is the best hiding place ever. Hey, you found me. Oh, I wasn't very good at hiding, was I? In our story, Moses tried to hide. He ran away because of the choice that he'd made and he was scared. The Bible also tells us there are other people that tried to hide from God too. Adam, Eve, Jonah and a guy called Gideon who was scared and hid in a wine press. The thing is, you can't hide from God. That's a good thing because God loves us. He always wants to help us. We just need to listen to him. See, God went to go and find Moses whilst he was being a shepherd and hiding in the desert. And he went to go and talk to him, but not face to face like I'm talking to you now. He talked to him through a bush, a burning bush that was on fire, but never burnt up. That's pretty cool. God told Moses that he needed to go back to Egypt to be a leader. But Moses was scared and he said, no way. But God promised that if Moses went back, he would help him. So in the end, Moses did say yes and he listened to God and God made him into a great leader. And that's the promise God gives us today as well. Sometimes we will be scared and sometimes we might not know what to do. But God, he loves us. And he promises that he will help us and he will be with us and he will look after us. I wonder, can you do something with me? Let's think of something now that makes us feel a bit scared. We're going to put that thought into our hands. Are you ready? Have you got it? Great. What we're going to do now is we're going to offer that to God and ask him to help us with that thing that makes us scared. So that we can listen to his voice and know what to do. Are you ready? God loves to help us. He helped Moses and he had a plan for Moses' life and he has a plan for your life too. Even though Moses was scared, God did not give up on him and he never gives up on us even when we're scared too. I wonder what's going to happen next in God's rescue plan story and how Moses is as a leader when he goes back to Egypt. We'll have to find out next week. Right, back to you, Ellie. Hello, it's Ellie here, and it's time for our HT Leaders Challenge. So this week, I found something very exciting in my house. I found a cardboard box. Now, cardboard boxes are really useful because you can turn them into all kinds of things. 
but I've decided to turn my cardboard box into a drum kit so that I can become a rock star with, of course, my trusty wooden spoons. <laughs> right <laughs> this week you too could become a rock star and make your own drum kit out of the things you can find in your house you could use cardboard boxes or you could use pans from the kitchen <laughs> speaking of fun things it is time next to do our craft which you can find on the website we've loved seeing all the photos of your crafts and what you've been up to so please do keep sending them in and if you want to keep up to date with what's going on at HG Kids give our Facebook page a visit. I'm gonna pray for us now before we go. Father God, thank you that you hear us when we call. Thank you that you have a plan and that your plan is good. Amen. That's all from us this week. Have a great week, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.